Welcome to Co-op Guild. This is Steve here with Kim. Hi, everybody. We're here to show you a preview of Children of Morta. So heads up, this is a demo copy of the game. So the rules and definitely components will change for the actual production copy of this. If you're interested in the, in the game, check out the crowdfunding link in the description to see what it's about. But this will be a first time play for Kim. So this will be a full teach. And if you want to see how this game works, you're in the right spot. So here we have Children of Morta, the board game. So this is based upon a video game of the same name. I've not played a video game, but it sounds like a fun one. It is a roguelike game. And in this board game, we're going to be going on this adventure, leveling up, trying to make it from point A to point B without dying. If we die, we'll go back home, level up, gear up, and then try it again. <laughs> That's the whole premise of this. So I will be playing as John. So John is a master at fighting and sword of, with sword and shield. Nothing can stop this father from protecting his family. The weight of his father's old sword and shield, a gift from his brother Ben, might slow arm down, uh, but his slashes are powerful and sweeping. So I'll be playing as basically a tank. Okay. Sounds good. And Kim, who are you playing as? I am Linda, her parents' firstborn. She is ever vigilant, ever focused, and as swift and delicate with a bow as she is with a fiddlestick. Linda is sharp enough that she can shoot her arrows as she walks, should the need arise. <laughs> and you are basically Archer, and you are very much the Gamma Slam potential. If you're not familiar with Gamma Slamming is, <laughs> we do that a lot on this channel, so you're going to be the damage dealer. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, before we progress, let's talk about the character board and what we're looking at here. So, um, up here is probably the most important part, so that is your health. So, everyone has health bars, and there'll be these white bars slide left and right along it. So you're starting full health. Below that, um, Kim, you have evasion, this little boot symbol. So that's how you can avoid attacks. And the final track on the very bottom is an hourglass that is for focus. Focus is what you need. It's, it's one of your basic resources to trigger some of your more powerful attacks. So those are the tracks up there. And you also have these tokens here. These are your fatigue tokens. These can be used for mitigation. And I'll explain what that means later as we go through, but rerolls and wild tokens, all that fun stuff. Okay. You do have a special ability here, which we'll get into later. And then all of these spots are all of your abilities to activate in combat. So this is a bag building game. What we're going to be doing is we'll be putting tokens into a bag. And this is one bag for everybody at the table. It's a co-op bag builder. So everyone's going to put the same stuff into the bag. We'll draw them out. And you'll be placing them onto spots to trigger their effects. So let's take a closer look at what these effects kind of look like. So Kim, your ability um, is, well, let's go into building segment. Let's look at um, this primary attack here, for example. So for primary attack, you've got uh, two choices. You can put a blue token here or a red token here. And the cost of doing so is just placing there. But sometimes they have additional costs. Like you see here, it's got two focus symbols. That requires two focus and a red shift to trigger that effect. What that effect does is on the very bottom, you can see there's either a single arrow um, our double arrow. So you have a one um, range attack with a blue die because it's blue in color, or a range die, a range attack with two blue dies, for example. Um, you've seen anything with white in color that is not really dice; it's guaranteed. So okay, that's the difference there. Um, focus, for example, here could give you additional focus, or this here is rage. What rage does in this game, it allows you to purchase additional dice for your attacks. That's what it's used for. And of course, in this, we do have rolling dice for the combat. So here you have a critical symbol. So your critical is you gain focus. So anytime you roll a critical symbol, you automatically gain focus. That's going to help fuel all your special abilities. And your special ability here is um, you can flip tokens to add damage to all your range attacks for that turn. Okay. So yeah, pretty, pretty awesome. So you can do some massive damage if you set that up right. Of course, you're not using those, those tokens for other stuff in that sense. But yeah, so that's kind of how that works. We'll look at all these in a little more detail as we play through, but I'm just going to give a brief synopsis of how that works. Okay, let's talk about what we're actually doing in the game. So the game is, like I said, based upon chapters, and this is the map for chapter one. So our job in this, and each chapter is going to have different goals, but all goals pretty simple. We're going to start at this location, and all we have to do is make it to this location here. Very simple, and you can choose whatever path you go along along this map. Now, of course, on these spots, there are going to be enemies to encounter. So we can we're going to encounter uh, some enemies here and here. And here is a spot where you can draw um, kind of the event card for the chapter. 
Well, yeah, that's the whole premise. It's trying to make it from point A to point B without dying. So the two ways we lose is if anybody drops to zero health, everyone loses. Or if we need to add enemies and we do not have space for them, we lose as well. Then we'll have to go back home and level up and try it again. Okay, so to start this game, we are starting at the left side and we gotta make it to the right side. And how this is what the map looks like, but when you set the whole game up, it's gonna look like this, where we're gonna have actually tokens on here. Now, um, this miniature is not part of the game. <laughs> this is just a marker for our location because the, the prototype did come with a, a, a marker for that, but it's quite big and kind of seen in camera. So this is not included, make it very clear, not included, just something we can keep track of where we are. <laughs> so that's special. <laughs> it is special. Yeah, it's a custom meeple that I can made. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna start here and we're gonna move along the path, and you can see that we've got tokens here that we have to deal with. So these are enemies we have to fight and we have to get to that end spot. Okay, there is a little bit of a story here. I won't read through it. I'll let that you explore that when you guys play it as well. And the other important thing is here is the buying guide. So this is what we can do to add dice to the game. In this game, there are multiple types of dice. There are blue dice, um, yellow dice, and pink dice. And uh, the weakest one's blue, and the pink one's the strongest. That's how it works there. But they just have various amount of hits and crits on there as you go through it. All right. I think that's enough discussion. Let's just start playing and we'll explain more how the game works as we go through it. All right, so first thing we need to do is we need to determine which direction we're going. Of course, there's only one path to go. We're gonna go into this first enemy engagement, this encounter it's called. So we move there and we'll do an encounter. So the encounter is drawing these two tokens. Now, one, one of us will need to be leader. This is what this token here is, so I'll be leader and We'll flip these over and I'll put these on camera so you guys can see closer what it is. So um, we have different numbers on top. The leader is going to deal with the highest number. Everyone else at the table deals with the lowest number. So right now I'm going to deal with two enemies and I get a gold coin. And Kim, you're going to deal with one enemy. So pretty straightforward. Okay. Here's, so here's your coin. Thank you. And then we'll draw these, to these enemies. So let's look at the enemy together. So here is a bat. This will be for me. There's a lot of different symbols on here. Let's talk about it real quick. Uh, up here, you see a little square that tells you where in your um, range meter to put the enemy. So this is going to be on the far left of my range meter. I'll show you that in a second. Uh, down here, this is its health. So two hits and it's dead. On the left side is what we get if we destroy it, money. On the right side uh, is what it does when it does an activation. This is going to attack us and it is a sword, which means it attacks at melee, close range. Uh, the other thing you might see, this one doesn't have it, but there might be some diamonds underneath here. That's how much experience you get for destroying that enemy. So that's what the enemies look like. So this enemy will go on my left side, and it's going to go all the way left onto this spot on my board. So this board has different, oops, let me over here, different ranges on it. So you can see, it's going to be hard to see on camera, but here's melee, one, two, three, and here's your range, one, two, three. So it works pretty logically in the sense that um these ones if they do a melee attack will attack you if there's a melee attacker up in the range spot they're too far away they can't actually hit you yet um of course anybody anybody who has range attack can attack you from either of those zones and likely for you if i have a melee attack i can attack only people in one of these three spots if i have a range attack i can attack anybody in any of these spots also range attack lets you help out other people meaning if I have a range attack, I can shoot anybody who's adjacent to me out around the table. In this case, we're a two-player game, so I will help Kim in that sense, or Kim can help me in that sense. All right, so I need to draw two enemies. That's my first enemy. My second one, let's look at this one here, is going to be a green spider. Oh, Kim, your favorite. I hate spiders. <laughs> so this one, if I destroy it, it will give us a... I'll be able to deal an extra damage to an enemy in my play area. It's four health. This gives me two experience. And then down here, um, this one will stun me and then attack with a yellow dice for range. So that's a pretty big bad one. And it's going to go far right for my spot. And that's, you know, it's on the right spot because of the square on the top okay. right corner. Exactly. Square in the top okay. right corner. Yep. All right. What's my enemy? Your enemy is going to be a lovely ma masher goblin. Oh my goodness, Kim. Let me turn this off. You see a little bit better. <laughs> kind of a beast. <laughs> He's kind of a big guy. Yeah. So far left for you, um, you do get rage and money. Five health, two experience, and then he tagged with a ton of damage there. Okay. So, yeah. At least you only have one of them, so he'll go on the far left. So that is the encounter part. Now what we're going to do, and here's how that works. So draw encounter. 
Um, we'll, we'll draw all the encounter tiles. So I have to take the highest number. And then we do the combat. Combat's very simple. We'll do a hero phase. We'll draw tokens from a bag. We'll place them, do all our attacks and everything. And then after that, the enemies will go. The enemies will take one round and then that's it. Then we go to cleanup and then we keep going. So how this works is everyone's going to take one turn simultaneous or one round simultaneous. The enemies take one round and then we move on. Meaning that if there's enemies left over, they will stay where they are. They'll follow us as we progress through. So that's how you can potentially lose the game by not having space for these enemies on your board. Okay. Okay, so let's start playing. So first thing we need to do is there's a bag, and we need to draw five tokens each out of that bag. All right, so we drew our five tokens. So I drew two greens, a red, a yellow, and a pink, and Kim drew those colors as well. So now what we're going to be doing is adding them, using these to trigger our abilities on our board. So, like I said, we've got these spaces on the board, and you can add these to the to locations. Now, let's talk about these in a little more detail as we figure out what we're going to do. And plus, I can, this now can walk through what our characters do in more detail. So, let's look at my abilities. So, here is here are John's abilities. I have Focus, lets me gain Rage. Rage is used to buy dice. I can get Focus with a pink, pink one, or here lets me attack with a single sword, blue dice, or... A, Blue dice sword plus one automatic damage for my primary attack. Now these are all separate actions, but sometimes if I just, for example, I look at my next column, row of actions, I have some other abilities. So here, I, this one gives me shields. This one gives me shield and lets me move an enemy to a different location mm -hmm. in my area. Um, and then these ones, if you notice that this looks a little different, these are actually combined into one grouping. So they're not separated. Meaning in order to do heaven strike, I need to do both sides instead of just one or the other. And so I need to put down a pink uh, token here and a red token here and spend two focus. And then I get to do a range attack against two adjacent squares. And I collide my shield slam, will let me do something similar, but this is hits all three of my melee spots with one dice attack. Okay. So that's how that works. So those are my abilities. For Kim, let's look at yours real quick. So you've got the focus and primary attack, kind of similar to mine. So if you've got a lot more range on yours, of course. And then your evade, this will give you evasion tokens right here. Mm -hmm. Now evasion is how you're going to cancel uh, attacks. So basically what it means is if an enemy is attacking with a blue die, you can spend one evasion to cancel that die. If they attack with a yellow die, you can spend two evasion to cancel that die. And pink is three evasion to cancel that die. And so it's very easy to remember because it's the same cost in buying those dice. And again, you've got this range of arrows for a global effect, or a little bit of range effect, and then uh, your final harmonic slam. Okay. So pretty straightforward, I think. Yeah. Okay. Um, by the way, my crit allows me to get shields. And I have a special ability. Oh, I just didn't explain my special ability. Let me mention that real quick. My special ability is this... Um, I can choose a defensive or aggressive stance, which means my shields, which I can use to block people adjacent to me, I can block your damage for you. Um, if I do defensive, each block negates two damage, or I can do aggressive, which is every block I do actually bounces back and hits the uh, the attacker. Hmm. So I can choose one of those two stances with a, one of my chips. That's my special ability. All right, enough talking. Let's play the game. So this is the simultaneous play part where we can take, figure out how we're gonna how we're gonna attack these guys. Yes. So I'm gonna use these five tokens and place them mm -hmm. how I want. Yep. I want to put this purple one down here on evade because this guy's nasty yeah he's got a lot of stuff so there. i'm gonna gain here uh you no know, not exactly no. so it depends on the color so yours let's talk about this together yeah. so your if you do that evade, it's got a blue evade symbol yes. and then a white um archery symbol yes yeah, so i do get to hit him right you do get him but you notice it also has focus in the top right corner. You don't actually have focus. Oh, I right can't now. spend that one. I didn't see Correct. the focus. Correct. Okay, fair enough. Fair but enough. But you would roll a blue dice and see how much evasion you get. It would be likely one, but it could be two. Oh, you roll the die. Okay. Roll the die for that. Gotcha. Yep. yep. Well, I don't have green to get focus. Now, one thing you could do is you can spend two tokens to act as a wild. So I need two tokens to act like one one token of a different color. You can also use your uh what's it called your fatigue tokens, and that's what up here. You can put those in any spot on your board as a wild. Now, the downside when you do that, those will go into the bag. And when someone draws them out later, they're dead draws. 
Oh, okay. The other thing you can do is you can take one of these dice, or these, sorry, fatigue tokens, and place them into your discard pile and let you reroll die. Can you explain this rage symbol again? Yeah, so rage will give you these rage uh, tokens, and these are a community pool, and we can spend them to add dice to an attack. So, for example, I can spend one of these to add a blue die to whatever attack I'm doing, or effect I'm doing, really. And if I had uh, two of them, and you can tell up here, so it's one, one for blue, two for yellow, and three for pink. So that's how you get more dice in attack. And those are like particularly good for like your area of effect attacks. Okay. Because you can boost them up really nicely. But you can just use them however you want. So for me, I don't have a lot of range to help you. In fact, my only range is down here. I don't have the focus to deal with that right now. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to help build up. I'm going to build up some rage for us for one. Okay. So here's some rage. I am going to use these two blue uh -huh. as a wild green okay. to get some focus. Okay. Okay. Then I'm going to give us a rage. Okay, another rage. Awesome. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm retconning that. I'm going to use this red instead of that blue. Okay, fair enough. Okay, and then I'll use this blue to get a blue, blue attack? Uh, range attack. So yep. I'm going to roll one die yep. against my goblin. Do you want to boost it at all? Um, with your rage. I feel like I kind of want to, but I okay. would. Would you want to save that for something else? Do you need it? Um, I'm more worried about your guy. That's kind of what I was thinking. <laughs> my guys are bad. So your guys I can are spend really two to get a yellow die, then, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yep. Let's just do that. Or you spend two blues to get two blue dice. Yeah, but the yellow is better, right? Yellow one is better. It has, yeah. More hits. More, um, a little bit more hit. More likely to hits, I guess. Okay. A little more higher hits. Let's just do this. Okay. Well. That's great. So <laughs> let's look at these dice closely. Not, not the, I don't even know, but that doesn't look good. So this is just a normal hit. And okay. then see the little archers, archways around it? That yeah. is how many hits it is. So that's two hits. Two hits. Of course, blank is nothing. So a crit looks like this. It's got it filled in. So. Okay. So you did two damage to present potentially, but you can reroll that if you wanted. How do I? Oh, I've got to spend it. that? You can discard a fatigue token. But that goes in the bag. It's a dead draw. Nope, it goes in your discard here. Oh, and so. then it comes back later. Uh, eventually. Not for okay. this run. Okay, well, I'm rerolling it because I don't like this guy. Okay. <laughs> There's oh, two more. Kim! Four damage! There's two more. That's great. So how much do you... He's got one health left. Okay, so you can put four wounds on him. Okay. Um, let's see. Do I have a range? I don't really have a good range attack. You don't really have... Well, I'm gonna do this. Okay. I'll kill him here. Yeah. So I'm gonna spend this purple. Okay. Um... So I have to spend this focus. Okay. And I get to roll to figure out how much evade I get, and I have a white archery shot. Automatic damage. Yep. Automatic one damage, so he's dead. Yep. Okay. I'm just gonna do that for a hot second. I'm gonna yep. roll to see how many evade. Oh Oops, my god. Sorry. Just sorry. All over the place. <laughs> if only I made some nice dice trays. <laughs> I know. Uh, uh so you I get two. Okay. Yep. Cool. 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 So that's gonna go there. And what do I? Oh wait, you nope, take you do, you right do, you now. Think, you okay, do right now. Okay, what, what do I do? So let's take a look at this together. So you're gonna get this reward. You get one coin, and then you get one rage, and that rage is a, in a common pool. And then you're gonna get two experience on the top of that. So Ooh. to keep track of experience, we have these dials, and so you can set your dial to two. And I'll go ahead and discard them over here. So Kim, you did an excellent job. Taking yes, thank guy. you very much. Linda means business. <laughs> <laughs> I. I'm not in as good of a position as you are. This is not in the right spot. This buggy oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because <laughs> I don't have a lot of range at all, so I can't really deal with this green spider. So I might just try to get some shields to, to deal with them later. So I'm going to do this to get shields. So let's see how many shields I get. I get, ooh, it's a crit. So a crit for me gives me a shield, and a one success gives me another shield. So I've got two shields. So that is that's good. That's real good. Now... I would like... Oh, I don't have the right... Okay, I'm going to use this as a blue melee attack. So, let's... This guy only has two... Yeah, let's spend this rage. I'm going to roll two dice. I'm going to try to attack that bat. See if we can take him out. There we go. That is three damage. The bat is destroyed. And nice. And I get one gold for that. I can't do much against him right now. So, I, instead, I'm going to spend this to get a focus. I've got one left over. I... I uh, that's not going to do anything, so I'm not going to bother using this last token. Okay. I'll, I'll just add that back to the bag, actually. Yeah. Okay, that's it. Now we ended our simultaneous attack phase. We'll move on to the enemy activation. So enemies activate from the right to the left 
And you can choose to activate them in any order, uh, sorry, any board in order. So we'll activate my green spider. He's the only one to activate. So he's pretty simple. He's going to shoot at me. He can do this because he's in range. And then he's going to stun me. So let's see what he does for his shot. I'm going to roll a yellow dice and see how much damage he does. Let's see. Oop. He does two damage coming at me. Looking down at my board, I do have two shields, so I'll spend both that to negate all that damage. Now the bad news is he does stun me, so I get a stun token on my board. Um, so this means I will draw one less token next combat. Okay, we've done all everything we've done for this encounter. Now we're gonna do cleanup. So cleanup is real simple. All the enemies on your board I'm will yeah, exactly <laughs> will move to the far left. So now the nice thing is he was ranged. He's gonna come in close. Now I can actually deal with them. Okay. And then everyone's gonna gain one focus. Also, any shields or evasion you have goes to zero. What? It's only for that one moment. So. <laughs> Why? Yeah. You could have told me that. <laughs> hey, what, it would have made a difference for you. So. Uh, fine. All right. Then we'll put all these tokens back in the bag. Um, I could keep this one, but I think I'm going... Yeah, I don't think I need it. So I'll put it back in the bag. The next thing that happens is the leader passes to the next person in order. So, Kim, you're now the leader. Yes. And you get to choose where to go on this map. So do you want to go north to that enemies or east to these two enemies? Go east. East? Okay. And you can totally backtrack on this. So if we want here and then later we decide to go north and come back the other way, you can totally do that. And it's just hard. Do we, we have to clear it. the board? Or we do not have to clear the board. Okay. We just have to get that one spot. But it might be good for experience or things like that? If or? you can survive. If you can survive. Okay. So we have these two tokens and Kim's leader. So you can get the bigger one. Now... Disclaimer, the number six is actually a misprint that's supposed to have two enemies on it. So you're going to get two enemies, and then that red symbol means it's a potion, actually. So you get a potion. This lets you spend it to heal. Oh, so it's going to help me after it hurts me. Yes, exactly. Okay. So I'm going to get one enemy, and Kim, you get two enemies. Okay, because you said that's a misprint. It should be two. should be two. Because exactly. you did um playthrough with the developer, right? Yeah. There are definitely some changes coming to this game. Um. Just a heads up, so this is going to give you a few for the game, but be aware that things will, are most likely going to be different um, in the final production. So, okay. Yeah. So, you're going to have a red spider because <laughs> you love your spider. I hate spiders. There was a spider <laughs> on me today when we were at my nephew's birthday party. And, yep. And it was it was big, and I did not like it. <laughs> did not like it. Uh, so, yeah, pretty strong melee attack, but he does, when you kill him, he can do damage to something else. So, okay. here, far left for you. Far left, I got it. And you have another spider. Got a green what? spider. So, similar to mine, but it's got different effects. Okay, not getting this game. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I really don't like spiders. I don't like spiders. And for me, I get one enemy. My enemy is going to be a spider queen. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I. This one's really bad. It gives a gemstone, which is a really nice reward. But... Uh, it will spawn another enemy oh my gosh. when it activates. So I might need some help taking this one out in particular. All right. Okay. Are we each draw five, right? Uh, no, yes. You draw five, and I'll draw four you're, because I'm stunned. stunned. Okay, yeah. there you go. All right. So that's what we drew, and let's see what we're going to do to engage these enemies. I don't know, Steve. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is a problem for sure. Um, here's here's what I propose. Okay, what do you propose? Let me let me get a focus. Okay. So then I have this. Yep. I could double range attack now, spending two of those focus and here. So okay. I could technically shoot over there for you. You can. Yes. Do you want me to build up rage before you do that though? Yes. Okay. Let's. Can I do that? I can do that with this. Here, and, I, and I can do that too. Here's this rage. Yeah, okay, yeah. Actually, get another rage as well. I'll build another one for you. Okay, yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, because I'm, I'm going to be struggling a little bit dealing with that one. This one, I'll just... It's fine. <laughs> it's it's fine. It's, it's fine. whatever. I just got to okay. deal with it. All right, so let me do um, a double blue. Two blue die. Two blue die, and you're going to use these? And I'm going to use those, and I have to spend these two focus. Okay. So do you want two more blue dice, or do you want a yellow die? Yellow die. Yellow die, okay. And I'm shooting over there for you. Okay, thank you. Despite this <laughs> uncomfortableness that I feel in front of me. You have a health potion? I, that's, that's, yeah, health potion. <laughs> okay. Okay. Sticky oh, that's blanks. three hits. You three. could re-roll. I am re-rolling. Okay. I don't like the blanks. Okay. There, there we go. Okay. So it looks like it's 
Four hits. Four, and he's got six, six. health. Six, that's good. But you do get a crit. The crit is going to give you um, another focus. Oh, good, 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 good. Focus. Okay. Okay, I'm going to shoot again. Single blue die. Are you coming at this guy again or something over there? I kind of want to do something else, but what are you, you going to do? Something. What are you going to do? Well, I can't attack it, so what I could do, is I can try to use my my shield bash. I might do my shield bash, which will let me uh, move another enemy. It gives, gives me one shield, move an enemy. So I can move him closer, and then I can maybe try to melee him from that standpoint. I don't really have the tokens I need, to, or the actually have the focus. I could do Heaven Strike, but I feel like that's kind of wasteful in the current well, situation. Well, maybe, maybe I'll hit him for two damage with this blue die. You could try that. It's a one in six chance. It is... But uh, you don't have to. I can try to deal with it. Because I, I would have to use that and then maybe attack with something else. It looks like you would have to. You have to bring him closer. Whoops. Yep. And then do a big, big attack on him. Yeah. Can you, does your big attack potentially do enough damage? Oh, you mean use this? Yeah, if you move him closer and then go ham. Oops. I can. I don't, it's only one blue die though. That's the okay, issue. let me, I'm going to shoot over there. Are you, okay, okay. Yeah, because I can't kill these with one die. Okay. So... Maybe. Oh, Bam! Kevin! Ah, Linda! Phew! <laughs> That's two more damage. That is now a dead spider queen. So the reward is a gemstone. And two experience for me. Thank you. What? Were you? Yeah. So Hoover... It's a... <laughs> what, is, what is that? <laughs> the ruling is wherever they're in front of, that's who gets the rewards. Well, then you do something over here. <laughs> I can't. Fine. Fine. That was clutch, though. That was yeah, clutch. yeah, it was. No spawning of spiders from Satan spider over there. <laughs> okay, I will try to see if I can. I can't do much to help you. <laughs> I'll get some shields in awkward ways to help out. <laughs> okay, go That's for it. Almost all. I, I have a blue token, but I don't have anything to do with that. So. Okay, I'm gonna use this blue here. Spend one focus. I'm sorry, red token. I'm going to attack this with a blue and a white. So here we go. A crit. Sweet. That's Knife. a healed. And it is one damage. So. Well, but you said and a white. So you oh, two damage. That's yeah. right. That's right. Yeah, Thank see, you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm actually not too worried about him at the moment. I don't I can deal with it. It's got to be a pretty comforting feeling. <laughs> so, yeah, these last two, what I will do is I need to get some shields for us, I think. So let me put them here. I roll blue dice to get some shields. Oh, you know what? Ooh. I, I also forgot my special ability. I could actually become more defensive and block more damage. I don't know if that's worth it, though. I need to get lots of shields for both of us. Can you explain my ability again? Flip up to three tokens, and for each token, gain plus oh, one. Oh, you could totally done that here. If you were to flip this, all your range attacks would get plus one damage. Son of a biscuit. <laughs> it means you're not using anything else, but you would have... I, yeah, because I wouldn't have used it. Yeah. Biscuits. Sorry, that that would have been better. <laughs> That's okay. There we go. Let's get some shield. Next time. That's one more shield. Okay. Not great, but it's something. That's it for us. Let's do the enemy activation. So my enemy activation, I'm going to have this guy... Sh Actually, let's do yours first. Sure. This uh, red spider... Uh, right side. Okay, right fine. Side the green spider is going to range, attack, and what is that again? Um, uh, stun. Stun. Okay. So one, one damage. Um, I can block a few. Oh, thank you. Yep. And I get a stun. So yep. I'll draw one less token yep. next go. Uh, two blue melee from the red spider. Uh, two. I can block one of that. Okay. I'll hit, take a hit. Okay. Actually, you have a healing potion. You can heal up if you want. Is it only one? It's heal? only one. Okay, only then one. I will use it immediately, and I feel a lot better. <laughs> okay. Where does this go? Just there. Sorry. Oh. I put it where you said. <laughs> okay, for me, I have this green spider, so it's going to attack me. I have no shields. Let's see what I roll. Just one damage. I just have to take it. So, you're welcome. <laughs> and then I also get stunned. We got to get rid of these spiders. But that is it. We get to, uh, we survive the round, and we will move on to the next part of the adventure. Okay, so. There you go. Put these in the bag. You are now the leader. So you either go to the north and you face two more bad guy tokens, or you go to the right, east, and it is 
Um, an event, a counter, something yep. happens. Okay, what do you want to do? Oh, let's faithful leader. Let's try the encounter. So we'll move here and um, we will draw this card and see what it is. So there we go. We have Belago Cold. The guardian, it's us. Had not found beast feeding, but monsters corrupting everything they touch. The beast victims were twisted and distorted, creating even more hungry husks to wander the mountain. Escape was not an option. The Bergens found themselves in front of a horde of vicious enemies. So objective, each hero draws three enemies. Cool. If survived after the enemy phase, remove any remaining enemy from the game and continue to the next spot. So we just have to survive its onslaught, but we'll get um, one experience and one gold no matter what. Okay. So you can get the experience of gold now. So. Okay. Right. And then this card gets removed from the game. So this is a one-time approach as we deal with three enemies in front of both of us. All right. What do I get? So for you, Kim, you're going to get a bat. Okay. Followed by a archer goblin. Um, let's take a quick pause for this guy. I have a real quick question. Was yeah. this spider supposed to move left? That's correct. He should have moved left. Okay, so he's moving. He's um, he sh yes, he should move it left. Okay. Not all enemies move, but he does move left. Okay. So this Archer Goblin, I will point out one thing with him, is down here in the corner, when he rolls a crit, it does an extra damage. Okay. Normally, he doesn't. The crits don't do anything from bad guys, except when they're, they're denoted. So. All right. He'll do extra damage, and you need one more. I need one more. Okay. And the last one here is this another spider. <laughs> Look at you. Look at spiders. <laughs> there you go. For me, I get three enemies, so I get a skeleton. Um, he's going to be in my melee zone. One. Second one is a red spider. And the final one is going to be a archer goblin. Now, this one I'll pause on. Down here in the corner of this symbol, when he activates, he will shoot, and then that symbol means he does not move. He will always stay at range and keep shooting me. Okay. So that's how that works. Or wherever he's in. He's, it's, so you can't deal with him. I would have to move him close with my shield bash, which okay. I can do. So. But it doesn't really matter. We just have to survive this attack. If we can. Cool. <laughs> and these that I've exhausted, they're until something tells me otherwise, they're going to stay there? That's correct. That's correct. I wish I had some more. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Hope we get through it. All right. So, so now we're going to draw four tokens. Reach each. drawing four. Because we're stuck. All right. We're and stuck. the stun goes away. Okay, we drew our tokens for each, and now we got to figure out how we deal with this. I mess. don't. This is not great, Steve. We just have to survive. We don't actually have to beat them. Well, I mean, I have five guys that are trying to. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of guys in front of you. I mean, you have four. I mean, it's not great. This guy's almost dead. Yeah, that's the nice thing is if I destroy him, he does the damage to somebody else. Oh. And if I destroy right. him, he does damage to somebody else too. So there's a okay, chance. Okay, so I can focus do some on that. And if I do this guy, he'll damage other people. Yep. Yep. So this... know, that's good. Okay. The other thing you could do is if we are going to lose, take out the people of gold would be nice because the gold is useful for leveling up. Okay. But, of course, experience too and everything. But, oh, by the way, we should have gotten uh, fo one focus. Oh, okay. For cleanup last time. Perfect. Okay. I really don't know what to do. Um, I have two focus though, so I could do a double shot, range shot. I, won't... I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to gain a this focus one. here. And I am ready to do my shield shield slam ability. My shield slam ability is my far right one. It does a melee attack against three targets, rolling a blue die. So that's my super attack, basically. And luckily, I've got these three guys in that spot. Now, I want to try to see if I can't help that situation a little bit. Okay. Go ahead. Can I, I'm going to ask Go a ahead. question. Yes. So this is a rain of arrows or harmonic slam. Mm -hmm. Um they're essentially the same thing. It's a it's a range or a melee on two spots, but can yep. I range anywhere though? Or... Uh, they have to be next to each other. Yeah, I know, but I could but range. In... I could range melee. That's correct. Is what in, I'm asking. Okay. Range. Yep. Yep. Okay. So and it's on my board too, or your board doesn't matter. Okay. So, so I think. Um... Yep. Good question. Well, I'm gonna do the melee one anyway. <laughs> okay, I figured okay. you would. So I want to do these two for my shield slam. Is... So I got another, some other tokens. So I don't have the token I, I need to get rage. I'm going to use this as a wild... Ooh. A wild, <laughs> I think? Ah, oh, but it's only one blue die. Yeah, I'll use this as a wild. I don't like it, but I'm going to do it. So that'll give us a rage. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. So I'm, I'm torn between these two options. Okay. Primary attack is two focus. I have a red, and I can sh use two blue die uh -huh. i have but that's on one enemy one, one enemy that's right or i have heroic slam which i can melee 
two guys, mm -hmm. but it's only one blue die. Mm -hmm. Which is better? Depends on what you're how you're rolling it. I let me let me see what we do with these three enemies, and that okay. might help. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna spend this rage I got. So I'm gonna do my super shield slime ability, and now I'm that rage will give me another blue die here. So I'm rolling these two blue die, attacking these three targets here. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping I can take out ideally all of them. See what happens. Oh, that was a good roll. Damage. That was a good. That roll. is all of them. Nice. So this will give us a reward of doing damage over here. And these two will give me two focus back. And I get two experience. So when I get to two experience, I get a talent. That's what that symbol means. Is that the stack of cards? So yeah, so in the, you can't, I'll show you in a second, but these are the talent cards. And they actually have their spots underneath the board. I'll show you after this uh, play here. Um, but I get to draw two of these and pick one of these two gain right now. So I get a choice of getting a uh, shield slam, which I just did. <laughs> I had the damage to my shield slam. Or shield blessing, use shields to increase damage to enemies. Oh, I can spend shields to damage enemies. That's how it works. I can boost. I can use that as a resource for extra damage. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not going to do this anytime soon, so I'll take the shield blessing for now. So that's how that works. All right. So that was that ability. I took out all three of these guys. I'm, I'm, so I'm doing okay. I might go ahead. I'm taking a rain a rage token. Mm -hmm. I do have enough to do my Heaven Strike, if you would like me to try that. I can do a ranged attack over over for you against two adjacent enemies. If you want to hit these guys, because he boo-boos other people. Okay. And this guy can give that's us... The, that's the official term, too? <laughs> yes, <laughs> because it's boo-boos. All right, so I will do this as a wild, and this is another one. I spent all my focus, and I'm just going to attack over there for you. Is it two guys or three guys? It's two adjacent guys. I'm rolling a single blue die. Is that okay? okay? Yeah. You want to say this for you? I assume I do. Yeah, yeah I kind of want you to. Okay. What two enemies would you like me to attack? These two? Okay. I say with no confidence. There we go. That's a miss. I will use that as the reroll. Okay. <laughs> Two damage! Nice. That's the best I could get. Hey, no, no, I'll take it. That's the best I'll I can get. Okay. So, two for you. You're almost dead. Two for you. You're halfway dead. Okay. Okay. That's about all I can do to help. I'm going to adapt. I need... Uh, I don't know. Is it better to... Single blue... Two guys? I think so. Oh, but I gotta spend two resources to do it. Now remember, you do have the ability to boost all your attacks. I know. So maybe I don't. I just do single attacks. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm you gonna... have another token, a fatigue token, you could use if you want. Yeah, so I'm gonna boost this. Okay. So it's gonna get a plus one on all my attacks this entire turn. Yep. Okay. All your range attacks. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do the single blue first. Okay. And hope for the best. Okay. Don't, you still have that rage you can don't, use. Don't suck. <laughs> I want to rage later. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Nope. Last reroll. Okay. Okay, good. One damage. That's this guy over here. Okay. So he's going to damage somebody else. Yep. I want him... And looks like you get experience as well for that. I do. Who do I want him to damage? Wait a minute. I didn't have to reroll that because this was plus one on all my attacks. Oh, you did. Yeah. Have to hit. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna wreck on that because I need that reroll for later. Okay. Um. So you still took him out, but yeah. I don't know which guy should get hurt. This guy's gonna keep stunning me, right? I would hit the bat. It doesn't matter if it's stun anymore. Oh, because he gives. Because rage. the bat will give you rage. It depends yeah. on how many extra attacks you're doing. I have one more attack with two. You do have a die. fatigue token, so you can maybe do another attack. Actually, you don't have any more attacks, so never mind. No, I'm gonna attack again. Yeah, that's going to be last attack. So don't yeah. attack the bat. The bat don't doesn't do much. Bat. Yeah. Due to the spider? There's lots of spiders. The green spider? The green spider I was eyeing too, because I just have to hit him three times then. Oh, I was going to do the other green spider. Okay. Oh, this so, one? Yeah, because you only have one more attack left. Yeah, so I think with the... With, oh, you're going for the yeah. gold? Yeah, go for the, yeah, go for the gold. He's no, stronger. No, no, no. I was... Oh, go ahead. Go for the gold. Okay. Yeah, because he's got gold if you destroy him. Yeah. And he also attacks with two dice. Which you're right. Is bad. You're right. Okay. So now my last one, I have to spend my last two focus. Bam. Okay. I'm going to roll two dice here and I'll spend one rage to get a third. So three blue dice. I am going to go after this one. I have one automatic hit already. So I just have to hit him two more times. Two more times with so three dice. Two dice. 
two times. And he got crit. Oh, he would have been dead. One, two, three, four. Yeah, super dead. Super dead. Super dead. And my crit, I get a focus. Yoink. Yep. And you get a coin. And two experience. Okay. Which will let you get a talent. Okay, so inner rhythm or replenishing focus. Plus one damage to your primary attack or gain a health when, when you, you fill, fill your tracks. I am not filling my track very well. So, if, so is it, does it say fill to the end, or just every time I get a focus, I get a plus one health? When you fill the end of the track. Yep, you have to fill your whole track. Fill the track. No, give me the damage. Damage booster. one? Okay. Now, unfortunately, this is probably not going to matter, because at the end of this run, um, those go away. So, <laughs> but it's good to show people what the options are. So, because I think you're done. Unless you want to use your last fatigue, what I don't think I'd recommend it, because I don't think... CA... No, it's fine. Yeah. Hopefully we survive these attacks. That's what it comes down to. Well, no, I could use this uh -huh. to attack, is what you're saying. I roll a die, right? If you have an attack option, I don't think you do on your board. They can use all your attack oh, options. Oh, I did. Yeah. So you could get evasion. Well, no, this this one. Oh, but it has to be blue? No, it's wild. Oh, I don't. And I have a focus. I could attack. You could. And it's going to kill that guy. I'm doing it. Okay. So I'm going to roll for evasion. Great. Blank. Uh, no but, not blank. Yeah, there you go. but it's an automatic hit, but I still have this. Yep. So it's two. So this guy's dead. He's dead. Uh, and then I get a focus back. So, And you get two experience. Yeah, that worked out. Now he's not going to stun me. Yeah. That's good. All right. And I think that is literally everything. Okay. So let's do go through enemy activation. So I'll start with mine first over here. So my guy, he's going to shoot with a blue, and he's not moving. So here we go. He hit me for two damage. I can't block it. I just dropped two. Almost dead. I have one health left. <laughs> so, but you're alive. But I am alive. Okay. Him, what do you got? This goblin's going to shoot me. If he crits, he does extra damage. Yep. One damage. One damage. Uh, you just take it. There's nothing that's okay. Out. And the bat, hopefully, as long as you're going to roll the double hit, you will survive. We will survive. Okay. So go ahead and roll oh, a blue die. There's one in six chance. Okay. Still alive. You good. You're good. <laughs> but I'm bleeding. You're bleeding out. But now <laughs> we did survive that, so all these enemies get discarded and we can continue on. Go away. So by the last away. health, but let's do the cleanup. Now important thing about cleanup is any of the fatigue tokens on our boards will go into the bag. Yeah, so that includes my, my arrow. Yes. So we have successfully made it to the ending, actually, which is oh surprising. We're, we're hanging on to each other, just like, oh, <laughs> barely, oh, <laughs> barely <laughs> <creeping> across. <laughs> Man, barely made it. So that is going to end the run successfully. I'm a little surprised because there's you. There's a decent chance you won't make it in your first run. So let's talk about what happens between runs. So this part is particularly fun. We get to go to home over here, and we get to level up and have some fun buying upgrades. Yes. So how this works is... Here's the player board, or the market board. Um, this spot here is for home event cards. You'll see that in momentarily. Uh, but up here is all these tokens we can purchase, and the prices are below them. So, for example, it might be hard to read, but this one, the one on the far left, is three. Three money, gold to buy. Mm -hmm. And you choose, there's one of each color of those tokens. And that symbol on top of it is a rage. So when you pull it out of the bag, you will, I'm about to get rage. The one next to it will give you focus when you pull from the back. And then the next three are dice of different colors. So basically when you use them for an effect, you will roll an additional die of that color for that effect. Now, you can over-purchase for these tokens by one to remove from the bag one token of a basic color that matches it. So if we add, for example, this top rage one, and we spent instead of three, four gold, we would remove a basic red, red, token from the bag and replace it with the um, rage red focus token. So you're improving your probability of getting the better token. That's right. Okay. Exactly. So that is one thing we do. The other thing we do is we look at our dials and right now I'm at five experience. I came with a get seven. I am at seven. Yes. So uh, we can spend this experience to level up. So we have experience to uh, cards we can look at. So let me show you what mine look like. So for example, here's an experience card. This one, actually, let me turn off this off so you can see a little bit better. It costs up here three experience to buy focus in the stage two. And of course, there's a stage three and more past that point. You can see down at the bottom how the effects and the dice you roll get bigger and better as you as you level up, of course. So we have 
cards for all our abilities that we can we can peruse through and figure out which of these we want to purchase. Um, but you do have to go in order. You have to go to level two, three, and go up from that that point. The other thing about cleanup is we do need to reset our player boards between each run. So our focus will go all the way to the bottom, shields go to the bottom, and our health goes to max. So these will reset, and any of our talents we got will just get added back into our deck to be leveled up later again. Now I'll show you how what this looks like because this was off screen. There's a spot here for your your talents deck. You have space here and here for two talents max. You have space here, here, and here for items, which we have not seen yet, but you can game, come across items which are one-time effects to use, or uh, generally one-time effects to use. Some of them do last a little bit longer. Okay, so Kim has chosen the primary attack level two, so of course you can do more damage. Right. Very fitting for you. So you get to roll a yellow dice now, just out of the gate with your right side ability, which is really, really nice. I'm choosing focus, so this will let us get more rage, which is great, and then uh, the same amount of focus I got before. But I hope we can get, build up that rage so that Kim can do more Gavin slamming. <laughs> uh, one of the things about the cleanup step is I forgot to get rid of this gemstones. Gemstones don't stay with you between rounds. The only thing that stays with you between rounds really is money and your experience. And, but everything else kind of gets reset. So what would that gemstone have done? That gemstone can be used when you go to a location with a chest. And I'll show you it'll be on the next map. Um, where you can actually spend that gemstone to uh, get a new talent. That's leveling up from this deck here. Okay. It's also used to power different effects on items, for example, as well. But we have, I've got three money, Kim's got three money, and the nice thing about this part of it is we can pool our money together. But we decided we're just going to use this six money to buy two additional um, tokens and add it to the bag. So um, we want to get a blue focus one and a red rage one. So those are just added straight to our bag. Perfect. And then um, make sure that for clean up these get reset so you can move them to your left side so you're ready to use. Um, the ones that are in the bag stay in the bag. You do not actually go in the bag and fetch anything out. It will stay that way until you draw it. Yep. So. Well, when you draw it, does it then go back to your board? Or does it does it stay in the bag forever? And when you draw it, it will go back to the player and it'll go into their exhausted spot here. Okay. So it is, okay. yeah, it's going to be a dead draw whenever we see, we see those later. Okay, but let's go ahead and proceed to chapter two. Okay, let's move on to chapter two. So now we need to add a corruption token to the bag. So this is just a dead draw. It doesn't do anything for us. Can't use it for anything, so. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, but now on, when we set the game, we're going to add a support card between each of the players. And support cards is a way we can have even more cooperation in the game. So I'm going to draw one of the support tiles and we'll put it between us to show you how that works. So here's the support pile we drew. This one lets us, once per turn, one of you may move an enemy from other hero's battle to yours. So we're able to move our enemies between us, which is really nice. Now, once per turn, when we do this effect, we'll mark it with one of these support tokens. And when this has a number of support tokens um, high enough, we'll be able to get a bond card. The bond cards are specific to character pairings, meaning that I will find a bond card that is paired between John and Linda, and we'll put that into play. Now I'll have even more cooperative element because basically what this is thematically is we're working together with this support effect. And then once our support gets strong enough, we now are bonded as a family. Now, unfortunately, I do not have these cards for the demo, but we'll just play it with this support card as is. Okay, so I follow the instructions here to set everything up. Again, new chapter cards. Um, we add the support file between us. I put all the tokens on the board here. Uh, but before we start the next adventure on this map, we do have to come over here and draw the top card. So let's see what the top family card is. So small hands. Lucy's magic was for stronger than one would expect from such a young child. And the heat coming from her hands grew more intense with each passing day. Her training started as a childhood pastime before becoming much more serious. For fire was a dangerous friend. Grandma Margaret took on the task of helping Lucy harness the flames. Lucy did not always get her spells right, but making mistakes was part of learning, no matter how talented one was. I did it! I did it! Lucy said at last, meeting Grandma Margaret's eyes with a grin. Grandma Margaret's proud smile signaled the end of Lucy's training. The fire child was ready. So now this will tell us who is going to be the starting uh, leader. In this case, uh, Lucy would be it, but if not, it's the oldest player. 
So I guess that's me to start. Yes, you are. So, and then all players start the game with two rage in the shared pool. And Lucy would gain one rage for herself, but she's not in the game, so we'll just gain two rage in the starting pool, shared pool. So this, these cards basically help to delineate um, who's going to start the game and then also give you a little bonus going into the, the, the run. All right, so this is the new map. We're in the caves. So we start down here, and our job is to make it to this point and then we're going to turn to the next page to start a boss battle. Yes, there are bosses in this game which work differently. We'll see if we make it that far or not. <laughs> we'll see how well we do here. Now, I want to call out some new things you might see. Uh, there are different enemy symbols here. So these are different tokens with stronger enemies. Also, some spots, like go here, will give you a, a gem. Or if you come down here, this is a loot token. So draw on those to get a bonus. Also, if you're there, if you have a gemstone, you can spend it to automatically get a talent. Basically, it's like a... Um, uh, paying a market or uh, merchant to to level up. Okay. All right. So we are down here, and then I am start player. So we'll of course move here because that's our only option to start the game. All right. So let's see what we get here. We get um, a three and a two. So I'm gonna get a gold and two enemies. And Kim, you're getting one enemy. Okay. So my two enemies. My first one is gonna be a red spider. So that's gonna go to my far left. And my second enemy I'm going to get is a skeleton, also far left, and this one can do a crit. And Kim, you get one enemy, and your enemy is going to be a bat. And he's going to be far left as well. Oh, this symbol here, when he activates, he'll move to the player to your right. Okay. So he'll go into my area. I'll try to take care of him for you before he <laughs> goes there. But I can send bad guys to you now with this ability. I can just send him right back. <laughs> I'm going to do once per turn. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we draw our five tokens, and let's start the start the adventure. All right, this is where we drew, um, yeah, I guess, <laughs> both our tokens yeah, back, which are so, But it's spent. in the exhausted. Yeah, they're exhausted spot. Okay. And then we basically have these four to deal with. And we didn't get any of our special tokens yet. Just Next time. Patience. Next time. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's figure out what we're going to do against these enemies. Pick up some rage. Okay. You would like to rage! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, let me get some shields for us. I'm okay. going to do this because I feel like we're probably going to need it. Are going to focus? Uh, two shields for us. Okay, the bat's going to die. So if I flip this, mm -hmm. and I put this here, I spend my focus right away. This is, I get to roll for an evade. Mm -hmm. I get two, two. evade, that's great. Uh, but I'm going to do one auto damage and a bonus damage, which is two, so the bat is dead. You got him, and reward and is a focus. a focus. Nice right. job, Ken. So now he won't come and bother you <laughs> thank you uh but you left me with all this to deal with maybe i'll send one your way actually that might be bad because you can't evade it i could you could evade it i could go ahead send one over so that might be worthwhile but let's see what i can do first i do have this attack here so let me roll blue die oh, i do have all these all this rage yeah let's try let's try to use some of that rage let's use two of that are you getting a Yellow or two blue? Let's get two blue. I need to get three damage on this red spider. Okay. Because I want to get that focus so that I can use it to attack the skeleton afterwards. That is three hits. That's enough. Nice. So that will give us a fo give me a focus, and I get one experience. So I was at two. Now it moves me up to three. Wait, did I get any experience from a bat? No, a bat doesn't no, have experience. Okay. No. Okay. And then this guy. Let's see. I do have this blue token. I'll spend my focus. And I'm going to attack him. This I do have one automatic damage plus a blue die, but I'll spend this rage to get make it two blue dice. So I need to get two hits out of here. <laughs> Come on, Steve. There we go. Oh, Damn. three hits. That takes him out. That's another experience. I'm up to four experience, and we get a gold coin for that. I get one. And well, I get one left over. You were worried about it. I was. I'll get a focus for that. Last one. Okay. That's it. We well, actually did pretty good to start, so... You're so surprised. I am. <laughs> yeah, and actually that was good, because we each took the dead draw of our, um... I don't know what these tokens are called, back. Yeah, our fatigue tokens. Fatigue tokens, yeah, so we got those back. Now, I am the captain. You are the captain now. Mm-hmm. I'm going to take us to the harder path. Okay, go north. Or, or no. should I not, because there's treasure down below. Well, if you have a gemstone, it would be good to go down there, because then you can get free talent. So trying to find a gemstone first before going there makes a lot of sense. Okay, so go north, because we don't we'll have a north. gemstone. Okay, so draw these two, and you're going to get the bigger of the two numbers. So here we go. You're going to get, oh my goodness, Kim. 
Oh my goodness. Wow, this is bad for both of us. But hey, look, a gemstone. <laughs> we found a gemstone. I, you're a leader, so you do get gemstone. I'm taking six bad guys. No, you're taking three bad guys. Okay, that's what I meant. Yeah, and I'm taking two money and three bad guys. Wow. Wow, okay. So, uh, Kim, let's see. What... But isn't it the big bads, the purple ones? Good question, but no. See, these have the normal um, green symbol on them, which the purple enemies are going to have this symbol on them, this um, goat symbol almost. Okay, so, so we just added the purple, the goat symbol tokens to the options, right? Yeah, there's a chance that some of these, some of these might have that symbol on them, but these don't. Okay. So, Kim, your first one is going to be a skeleton in the far left. All right, that's fine. And here's your second one, a masher goblin. Ooh, big guy. Okay. Not as nice. Here you go. And your last enemy you're going to deal with is a Sparta Queen, which spawns other guys. Oh, that's a really bad one. Here you so, go. So, um... Yes? You sure this wasn't a misprint? Nope. Okay. Do I get my gem, though, right now? You do get your gem right now. Right, I got gem. a red spider in my melee spot, which is good. I need lots of melee guys. A green spider in rain spot, not good. Can't deal with that one very easily. And then my other one is another green spider, also not good. Okay, so that is our enemies we have to deal with oh boy not oh, great did, we forgot to grab focus at the end of our rounds oh okay yeah good. you should always get one focus during cleanup step all right so now we're, we're gonna draw five each five each all right so here's where we got um i drew the corruption yay that's nothing <laughs> so that's nothing <laughs> this is spent so i'll just put my discard here but i did get this one which would automatically as soon as i draw give me one focus so, and then I can use those as colors right now for whatever we need to. Okay. So I'm working with three tokens. <laughs> that's not great, Steve. It's <laughs> not great. I have a lot of focus though. So that's good. Uh, I can't rage. I needed the the yellow one. You need the yellow one? Yeah. You can use two for one, remember? I can. And you still you still can use your fatigue tokens as wilds as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. I am. Oh, your suggestion. Sure. I do have my shield slam. I can do this effect right now which attacks three guys in melee. Right now, you can send a guy from your zone to my zone. You want me to do that? Yeah, I think so, because I can do, I can I can use my, Should I can't use my shield. Should I have easily. lost my evade from the last Oh, that's right. Round? Yeah, our, our evade and shield should be at zero now. Sorry, I forgot to mention that. Okay. Um, if, I'll send you one over if you want, because I have to focus on the spawning guy. Doesn't do you want spawn to... I don't have a spawning guy. No. Okay. Okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. Okay, <laughs> you're like I'm not going to you. I'm gonna just go after this spider here. So I'm gonna roll one blue die. I'm gonna ignore doing my super attack for now. I'm gonna save it for later. So here we go. Uh, one blue die attacking the spider. That's one damage. Okay, it's a start. It's a start. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend this blue die, a blue blue over here, to here. I need to spend a focus for that. This is gonna be an automatic damage plus a blue die. Um. To hopefully take him out. Just need one hit, Steve. Yep, I just need one hit. Come on. So here we go. Nice. Two hits. That's great. So it's three hits that so takes him out. He's um, gonna damage someone. He does have damage. We'll do damage on you, lovely person here. Um, and I get one experience, which then gets me up to five experience and gives me a talent card. So let's see what talent card I take for that one. So I have the option of doing a plus one to my primary attack or plus one to my shield slam. I'm going to take plus one damage to my primary attack as my option here. I'm going to spend this to gain a focus. I'm doing this to do more damage. Then I'm going to do this here. Spend two focus to roll a blue and a yellow. And it's going to be plus two on all my attacks. So there's already two damage coming to the Spider Queen. Okay. Okay. See what you get. Ooh, a crit! Three! Three hits. No, hit, there's no crit. crit. Where's the yeah, crit? Right here. Oh, that is a crit. Yep. Yeah. So that gives me a three, focus. four. We yeah, have focus, and you get five damage. Five damage. Oh, he's so close to death. Well, I'm doing this. Spending this focus here. Gonna roll blue for evade. Yep. Me nothing. But I get an auto hit and three. Yep. So I could kill the queen or kill the skeleton. I think uh, I gotta the kill queen. the queen. Yeah. Okay, so I get two experience and another gem. Excellent. Okay, I'm up to four. I was really hoping I'd get an evade. <laughs> hey, you too. I know shields e either, so we're going to be taking some damages here. Well, maybe. Well, they're white. Yeah, they would hit. Yeah. 
All right, so is that it? Are we done? That's, that's I can't it. really use this for anything. I could use it for my ability, but I don't have any shields to actually use it for. So that's just what it is. I do have an extra token, but I don't want to put that at the back right now. I want to save it for later. All right, activate enemies. Let's do my activation first to see if I survive. So this one's going to shoot with a blue and a yellow die. So let's see what happens. That is, oh my god, four damage. Did he just one-shot you? He one-shotted me. I am dead. Oh no! Yep. Chug! I am dead. And then this one would totally kill me too, I'm betting. Okay, I'm curious. Would you have survived? I'm curious. I'm curious. Well, let's see. This is an auto-hit, so that's yep. one. Yep. Auto-hit, a blue, and a yellow. So auto-hit. I just, I can't take two. Yep. Yeah, he murdered me. Yep. I okay. died. So we, we both died. We both died. We both died. <laughs> All right, so not a great start for this run, but like I said, the nice thing is um, we'll go ahead and go back to back home. Um, we'll be able to level up by spending money and any experience we have to get more cards, and then we can try it again. And we'll do this loop until we are able to beat this chapter and get to the boss level. But I think that's going to end the play today. Um, one thing I will show you real quick is, can you hand me uh, those item cards real quick? We'll show you, this is one thing you haven't seen yet. So we can get the item cards pretty easily in our experience style. So if we go up to experience level eight, see here, it has a picture of our card. You also get the other packs as well, um, but here's what they kind of do. So this one, you can spend it and ignore the first damage of each attack of this turn. So one Is time use. A, oh, okay, one time. Yeah, for example, or like you get the Heaven's Justice, deal two damage to all the copies of one type of enemy. So we can kill all the green spiders, for example. Yes, murder them all. Which is really great. So there's a lot of fun ones in there. Um, so uh, you can take another example. Gain a evasion or shield for each discard of fatigue. So depending on how much fatigue you have, you can get a boost of it. So a lot of really fun effects on these item cards. That's but, cool. Yeah, that has, gives an idea of what it is. So let's go to the chat and talk about our experience. Yeah, that hurt. I, I, do, <laughs> I do appreciate the fact that Okay. Yes, we lost that encounter. Yep. However, we're just gonna crawl back to home base, gather ourselves back up, give each other a little bit of a pep talk, yep. and head right back out. Um, and fortunately, like you have four money, so we could go get a better gem, mm -hmm. take out one of the the weaker ones, and That's right. and do that. So. And we have experience right now as well, so we can level up, which is which is good. Yeah. So, yeah. And even nice. if you don't spend the experience to level up, you're closer to getting those rewards. So Kim's at like four experience right now. The next experience you would get would get a talent. So if you started the next run with four experience, any the guy you kill would give you an immediate talent. And then you Except probably get bats. You don't get skills from That's true. There's some bats and skills yeah. you don't get them too. Yeah. So the gems, though, would I have lost the gems? Or yeah, those gems gone? are gone. Okay. Yeah, basically okay. everything goes away except for gold, your experience, and your uh, level of powers, for example. Okay. Everything else goes away. Cool. But I like that. It's not like, a, ooh, game over. Like, hmm? too bad. <laughs> you know, it, it gives yeah. you the opportunity to... So go go again. We did go after those were that was a lot of bad guys. That was a lot of bad guys. <laughs> that was a, a lot tough of run. Guys. Yeah. Um this game is set up for those loops. So you will run go through, run through, and you'll lose and you'll get stronger, stronger, and eventually run and, and beat it and, and complete, which is fun. Uh so if you like that type of loop in games, definitely check this one out. It is very cool. Now, like I said, I know a lot of things, maybe not a lot of things, I'm not really sure what's changing, but I know changes are coming for this. So what you see here, this gives you a feel for the game, but definitely if you're interested, watch this game on, on the crowdfunding page to see what changes are coming, because I don't know what that's going to be. Yeah, so uh, just thanks to the developer, Rumors, for sending this demo. Again, it is a demo, so we know that things are probably going to change. They'll look a little different, but the gist, I think, is here, which mm -hmm. I really like. I had a good time running through the loop, um, and it's not like a punish you for losing type of mm -hmm. game, which... Not always so much fun when games do that, but sometimes you want it. This guy's a glutton for punishment. <laughs> yes, so, I do like that in games, um, but yes. But yeah, it was, it was a good time. Yeah, I this loop is fun. I had a lot of fun playing with my son, who's nine. He had a blast as we leveled up, and we kept trying, trying to. We actually beat the maps and the boss, and he, he really enjoyed this one quite a bit. Uh, he likes getting stronger, and always, you're just constantly getting things in this game, whether it be resources and gold and experience and all sorts of fun stuff that really add to the play and experience. Okay, that will end our play a preview of Children of Morta. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like this type of content, we would appreciate a subscribe and a like on the video. But be sure to check out the crowdfunding page in the description below for more information. Yeah. If you have any questions, feel free to drop a comment. I'll do my best to answer them. 
And thanks everyone uh, for watching the video and our Patreons and Ko-Fi subscribers. Like Steve said, go check that out. Uh, it's a really great community. We love all you guys. Um, and if you're not, that's totally cool. We appreciate your time. That's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> we'll see you next time at the Guild. Bye. Bye-bye.